Hello there and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about how I've been implementing the philosophy of less is more in my hair care routine. This is not a new idea that I've made up on my own, but lately I've been trying to see how simple I can make my hair care routine and how little product I can layer into my hair and still enjoy the results. I've been trying this for about a month, month and a half now, and I've made a video of um, a few wash cycles so you can see what I've been doing. So here's a little example of how I've been doing my hair recently with this kind of experiment of the less is more. Okay, this is day one of me demoing the less is more philosophy. So I just washed my hair. I clarified my hair two days ago. So today I did a gentle wash with this guy and then I used this conditioner and this leave-in conditioner. This wash day will be damp styling and the second wash I do will be wet styling. So I'm gonna let my hair air dry for maybe half an hour um, until whenever I'm ready to go to bed, then I'll dry it the rest of the way with the diffuser, add a little bit of gel, and go to sleep with it in a buff. If you do this, you could use any gel you want. This gel is a very hard hold gel, so I'm only using a tiny bit. If you use a lighter hold gel, you might need a little bit more gel. I add quite a bit of water to my gel since I'm doing damp styling, or actually since my hair is mostly dry, it's extreme damp styling. In fact, it's actually pretty close to a wash now style later. I do make sure it is mostly, if not totally dry, before I put it up in the buff and go to sleep. Hello there, it's morning, and let's see how this worked. And that's about how it's been working. The success of this method relies on wetting it and um, adding more gel as few times as possible because that for me tends to break up these chunkier curls and it also adds more layers of product on which um, causes build up faster and then causes me to actually have to clarify my hair sooner. This is how my hair looked after I let it settle for a little bit. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I noticed my hair looked a little bit dry, so I decided to add some leave-in conditioner, just a little bit, with some water. I'm not adding any extra gel, but the water that I add um, can possibly reactivate some of the gel that is in my hair from yesterday. And this is what my hair looked like after the uh, conditioner and water dried fully and I scrunched out any remaining crunch. Hey guys, it is the end of day one and I don't feel like my hair did too bad. It's a little bit frizzy, but I'm okay with that because I was outside a lot today, took the kids to the playground, went outside to play with the kids a few times, and then we went mattress shopping, so we laid on a whole bunch of different mattresses. And uh, after all that, I feel like it hasn't done too bad. Um, I felt like one time I needed to add a little bit of moisture, so I added one more little small amount of uh, leave-in conditioner. So tonight, I'm just going to sleep with it down like this on my satin pillowcase. See you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. I am going to take a shower this morning and just leave my hair down like it is. Try to keep it out of the water, but let the steam help it to curl a little bit. It's also pretty rainy today, so I'm going to add a tiny bit more gel. Um, so I'll see you in a minute. So the leave-in conditioner I add today is the Curls Blueberry Bliss, and it has protein in it. I felt like my hair needed a little bit of protein today. And now I'm going to add just a little bit more of the Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel, the same one I used a couple days ago when I washed my hair. And I'm definitely adding a lot of water to the gel here so that it doesn't get too sticky and add frizz. And here's what the day two hair looks like from the front and also from the back. And for a scene change, I went to visit my parents for the weekend. Hello, and this is the end of day two. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible. Uh, there was rain today, so I'm pretty happy with how it's been going so far. For day three, I really wanted to wash my hair, but didn't get to, so I put the headband on and just added a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner, the same one that I added the day before. So I'm actually fairly impressed with how my day three hair is doing on this kind of cold, rainy, misty day. 
So that night I washed and restyled my hair pretty much the same way as I showed you uh, for the first wash, except I did the styling on soaking wet hair instead of damp hair. Hello, this is day one of the second wash. I did pretty much the same thing I did with the first wash. I washed it last night. The only thing different I did was to uh, do wet styling instead of damp styling, but I used all the same products and I used the same amount. And I slept with a buff on my hair overnight. And this is what I've got this morning. I'll be back later. It did pretty well. I was outside most of the day. The uh, temperatures were cooler and not too dry, so it was pretty optimal weather for my hair today and um, worked pretty well. It feels a little bit like maybe it needs some more protein, but I'm limited um, in what products I have um, by what I brought to my parents' house. Um, for this weekend. Hello again, this is day two of the second wash. I would say my hair was preserved pretty well overnight and this morning, just now, I put on a little bit of conditioner with a little bit of water and I'm good to go. And this is how my hair looked after it was all drying. Alright, here I am at the end of the second day of the second wash and this is going to be the end of this experiment. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I could probably get another day out of this hair, except that my scalp is starting to get itchy and I'm gonna need to do my um, anti-dandruff treatment. Unintentionally, this week, I've also given us a chance to compare what happens to my hair when I use damp styling versus wet styling. So that's how it's been going. I think I'm gonna continue this philosophy at least until the weather changes and my hair changes and then I have to figure out something else that works. But basically I know just three things. Um, one is that my hair really likes the spring and summer higher humidity weather, so it curls easier. I have to do less to it. Two, the more products I layer into my hair, the more I seem to have to clarify it with harsher shampoos to get out the buildup. So if I use less product, I can go for longer periods of time using more gentle shampoo. And three, the longer I've been um, taking care of my hair more gently and trying to allow it to be curly, the more I've noticed that I don't need as much product to get it to do what I want. Part of that might be that it's spring now, we have more humidity in the air, but also I've noticed that it does better on day two, day three without adding any water or any additional gel. I've noticed that when I have to add gel on my refresh days, it does tend to dry my hair out quicker and then I just end up having to re-wash and re-wet the whole thing down and start over sooner. All right, well, thank you for watching and as always, stay curly.